Hey guys, it's Snow Diamond, and today I will be doing a kind of cute big LPS haul. So yeah, and my sister is here, so I'm saying hi to the crowd. Hello, crowd. <laughs> um, yeah, so today's my birthday and I'm turning 12. Wait, no, I'm ar I already turned 12. Yay! <laughs> that looks so mad excited, but I'm, I'm just kind of don't want to be weird on camera. But I got a couple of LPS from my mom, and then I'm just going to be showing you before that. A couple of LPS I got at the swap meet before my birthday and stuff, because some of them were like a month ago, I think. Um, and it, it was only like three or one LPS, three to two or three LPS, and I didn't want to show that in one video each, so I just wanted to show it in a big video. So let's get started okay. with the swap meet pets. Alright, so the first we have is this... Labradoodle, she is super super cute, and she was at the stand for about four, for four dollars, which is I think a bit pricey, but a pretty a pretty good price for her because she's pretty rare, I guess. Um, she's got super fluffy ears, and she's really really cute. The only problem is she's got a little like sharpie mark on her eye and a chip tail or a broken tail, but I don't really mind. I'll file that down, and she'll be good as new. <laughs> yeah. All right, at the same stand we got this. Dash Hound. Um, I was really happy when I found her because I have kind of wanted her, not really. I wasn't really thinking about her. I used to think she was weird, and now I don't. Well, like, before I bought her. Um, I love the eyes. It's super pretty. Um, the only problems are she's got two chips in the nose, and she was a bit dirty, but I definitely cleaned her up, and she looks as good as new. So, yeah. Next, I got this Cocker Spaniel, which I was really happy and freaking out about he was in a pile oh yeah he was in a pile of toys little kid toys like uh okay um he's actually my dream cocker spaniel i'm really happy i got him um the only pro he was in really good condition for like being in a pile of kid toys and the guy or the yeah the guy running the stand said i could have it for free and i was like really happy i got him but the only problem is he's got a oops a uh, spinny head but um yeah Besides that, he's in perfect condition, just a bit dirty, and then I cleaned him up. So I'm really happy I got him. So here's the crocodile. Oh my gosh, I was literally freaking out when I found her. I was so happy, and I was literally dying. Um, she, I actually made that and put it on her. I want to keep it on her, I don't really want to take it off right now. Um, the only problem she has is this little yellow paint stain, or like Sharpie, I guess, and some Sharpie marks here, here, and there. But she's really cute and I'm really happy and it was $2 and I think that's an amazing price for how rare crocodiles are. But I, I tried asking for a cheaper price just because cheaper is better. But he said no. And there were actually some new in box old pets. Um, the pop out scene pets like the pop out scene koala and boxer dog. And there's also a two pack new in box um, fish and octopus, but it was $5 each, and I didn't really want to spend that much money on an LPS new in box that I was probably going to keep in the box. So, I just got her, but I'm really happy I have her. And she's my, and she was my, actually my dream crocodile. Um, yeah, because she's the one that most looks like a real crocodile, and I love the yellow gradient and the yellow belly, and just the bright green color and then the dark green color, so, yeah. Alright, now I'm going to be showing you guys some of the pets I got from my mom. The adorable pets. Yeah, the pets from eBay, and then just another pet that wasn't from eBay for my mom. So, let's just show you. Alright, so here are the pets. Yeah, so here they are. Um, there's first this little Maltese. She's really, really cute. She does have a chip nose, and actually makes her look like she has a little heart nose, which is really cute. And then she came with this little puppy. This, these are from Corey's closet, my mom told me. Um, she's super cute. She's a G3 puppy. Um, but I seriously do not mind. And, like, look how stinking cute her paws are. Wait, let's focus, please. Like, look how stinking cute that is. Like, oh my gosh. And she's got, like, this little bow underneath. Oh my gosh, my camera's so blurry. Um, she's got a little bow underneath. It's just like, so cute. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, then there's this, which I have no idea. I think that might be Whisker haven thing it's like a series it was really weird though it was like there's cushions and like little tables on the back which i don't really know what that is maybe it's like oh it used to be a part of a thing where you could like flip it and it would be like 
that, I don't know, because it's like, it doesn't have any sounds, so I have no idea. So yeah, and now I'm going to be showing you about guys, the pets that my mom, that my mom, that my mom got from eBay, so uh, let's go. Alright, so the first two are oh, these two little guys, um, they both have flower eyes, so I'm guessing they're probably in the same pack maybe. So there's this first is this lop-eared bunny. These are all really dirty pets, um, but I will definitely clean them up. She is super cute, purple, and got green eyes. I really love her. First lop-eared bunny. These are, I only like lop-eared bunnies. These are only my favorite bunnies. I do not like any other bunny, and I'll be bringing any other bunny to LPS Con. So yeah, and then there's this little crouching kitty, which is super cute, pretty dirty, and she's got some chewed ears. But yeah, my second Crouching Kitty, she's a pretty popular Crouching Kitty actually, or I think she would be a popular Tuber's mascot. I'm not sure. She kind of reminds me of like Alice LPS or something. I don't know. Just if you guys know whose mascot that is, this is, and it's like kind of like a more popular LPS Tuber, tell me down in the comments below because I really feel like she's one of those popular LPS Tubers and mascots. So um, next we got these two disgusting pets so we got this mcdonald's toy which i will definitely be not keeping aka thrown out all right so yeah. sorry my guys my photo my phone just or the uh my device just ran out of memory so i had to delete some things like videos but so we have this really creepy frog that's missing his limbs which i probably will customize and well i'm trying i'm gonna like you know like sand it down but if it doesn't work out i will throw it out because i mean or, um, my dad actually told me that I could, like, take this body off and, like, take a body off another frog, like, that I don't need. Like, if I find out the swap meet at the store or, like, just a haul. Oh, my gosh. My boy, my brothers are being so loud. Please ignore that if you can hear. Um, I'll probably just do a head swap and just put this head on another body and then customize it because, yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. Next, we got this little turtle, which is super cute. And he's got like kind of like a shiny back, really blurry, shiny kind of back. What's interesting about his eyes is that he's only got one color. Like, you know how like some pets, like, um, oops, they have like two tones. Like, see, this one has light blue, dark blue. They usually have the light color and then the dark color, light color, dark color. But this one only has a dark color, which is one, which I don't know if that, if this is like, like a special pet so if you guys know please tell me down in the comments below i'd really love to know if this is like a rare pet or something because i don't know but he's really cute and my first turtle in this mold yay next we got these two pets which they have nothing in common but i thought they look kind of the same color so first we have this jack russell which i'm literally in love with i am dying because this is so stinking cute oh my gosh this is like my favorite jack russell um, she is super cute with her blue eyes, and the orange and gray and white is just beautiful, guys. She's my, like, my favorite Jack Russell. And then we have this really pretty horse. I will, I didn't actually, I actually didn't realize that pattern on her feet. It looks kind of like fire, maybe. And this is my first horse with a saddle, because my other horse doesn't have a saddle. But, like, these, some, some horses have, like, these thick, like, these saddles that are, like, molded on. Some of them don't. She's really cute. She has these splash eyes. I love the colors. She's kind of like my other horse that I have. Like the colors, like this light and then dark. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I just like had something caught in my throat. But yeah, I'm not sick, just so you guys know. <laughs> but she's really cute. I'm trying to collect as many horses as possible because I'm probably going to be doing a movie um, with horses or possibly a series. So I'm trying to collect as many horses as possible, and I'm really happy I have her, so yay! Alright, next we got this one, which you might know as Tom. Here, let me get him. Well, he's not like, oh, I'm not like a popular series person. But here he is. This one's actually kind of weird. Um, under here it says 2004, and this one says 2005. So, wait. Yeah, five. So I'm guessing maybe, like, this was the same pet, but they came, but Hasbro released them in different sets. That is definitely pop. I'm going to be keeping him and customizing him because he's he's just got a few problems with his face. Do you, do you see this? Do you see this? He's just got a few problems. Okay, let's, let's fix the camera. Okay, so I'll be customizing him and also his head is broken too. He's got a sharpie mark. You're, you're done. 
This one is in much better condition, like literally much better condition. He's got a marker, which is like super easy to get off. Um, so yeah, I will be keeping him. So I'm really happy I got a double of him because I really want to customize Bon Bon Kitties. So um, yeah, next we have this little Chihuahua. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm literally dying. This is super cute with a sombrero. Let me take that off, actually. It is a chihuahua. That's my sister talking. Um, it is a chihuahua. Look how cute he is. I thought this one had, like, matte eyes, but this one has glossy eyes. There's one that looks similar to this with matte eyes. Like, the older one. This is made in 2007. So he's really cute. My first chihuahua. Before, I, like, watched a video, and, like, I did, was like, oh my gosh, that's a new LPS, because I didn't even know about LPS Chihuahuas. But he's in really bad condition. He's got, like, a chip right there and there. His head is kind of stuck. I'll probably try and fix that. Oh, never mind. I fixed it! Oh my gosh, yay! I fixed it! Because he's really cute. And, yeah, dude, these Chihuahuas are actually really tiny. So and then next we have this long-haired cat, which is my first long-haired cat, and I'm really happy. Um, he's she's in pretty. Or, actually, it's gonna be a boy. He's gonna be. He's in really bad condition. He's got like this weird thing on him, um, and he's got some dirt and chips. But um, you guys have to prepare for what's next. This is not the dirtiest pet, so uh, let's just show you the other pets. <laughs> All right. So next we have these pets, which. You guys will be like, uh, what are you doing? I will be bringing these pets to LPS Con because I do not really need them. So first we have this mouse, which is actually really cute, but I do not have any need for mouse and I do not need him in my collection. So I will be bringing him to LPS Con. Um, let's just like actually, oops. Let's just actually move these because I want them just to be here, but not on the way. So next we have this extremely dirty, um, cat. In real life, he looks much dirtier. Let's see if we can focus, like close up like you can see how dirty he is he's got chip on his chin looks like he's got a beard like oh my gosh please focus look how gross that looks oh my gosh so i will be bringing this one to lps con he's actually got really unique eyes i really like that i'm not bringing him to lps con because he's dirty but i just don't really want him so yeah next we got this golden retriever which i actually think people will probably want a golden retriever um, he's really, really dirty, and he's missing a tail, and a, he got a little chip nose. He got a little chip nose there, but um, I will definitely be cleaning him up, and he'll be as good as new. Um, I probably can't. I definitely can't fix his tail, but um, yeah, he's really cute. And then lastly, well, actually, he's cute, but I don't really want him, just because of the macaroni and cheese color. It's kind of ugly. Um, and next we have this Maltese, which I do not want. I just don't really like how the color is, like the brown and the blue. I just don't really like how it looks. It just, no. Doesn't really, I just don't really like it. He's got a little bit of green Sharpie or marker. I'd love to clean that up for LPS Con. So, yeah. And last but certainly not least is this Great Dane. Oh my gosh, this is the reason why I wanted this lot. He is really, really cute, and I love him so much. I actually went out to lunch, and I brought him to lunch. To lunch, and I brought him to lunch. Wow. Yeah, he's pretty dirty. He's got, like, I don't know if that's, like, Sharpie. I hope not. I hope there's no Sharpie on him, because I want him to be in his best condition. Oh, oh my gosh, that is, like, so gross, guys. Did you see that? Like, it was, like, flaky. Ugh. He's got, like, something under his nose. I'm trying to go in the sun. He's got some crayon marks on him, but I could definitely clean him up, so I'm really, really happy. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, let me switch my hands. All right, now for, oh, no, you don't need it. All right, and now for the accessories. So the first movie, we have this thing, part of a house. Um, I'll be throwing it out because I do not have a need for it. I mean, it's just a piece of the house. Who needs this? Next, we got this little wood thing, which I have no idea what it is. It has no idea. It'd probably be really cute for, like, if they're in the wild or like on a trail, and this is, like, a bridge to put them across a little screen, I guess. This, this is kind of helpful to use. Next, we got this little sandbox, sandbox, which I don't think this is Hasbro. It kind of looks like Hasbro, but it doesn't say Hasbro. It's a little, like, sandbox. It's got little pop and little castles or, like, little lumps of sand. But it's really cute. It could be perfect for a park and stuff. So I really am happy I have this. And then next, we have is this, which I have no idea. This is probably Fisher Price because of how colorful it is. Um, I probably won't be keeping it, maybe it's just a colorful. I mean, it actually like opens and closes, but um, or, like, moves up and down. Um, I probably won't be keeping it, but who knows? Right. And then last we have this, which 
have this little thing that says take me home. Um, I guess this is like, I, guess, I think this came with the adoption center. I think this came with the adoption center. Take me home, like adoption. You put the puppies in, take me home. Um, it's really, really cute. Uh, I don't really know if I, what I'm going to do with this. Probably bring it to LPS Con. I just don't have any use for this. I mean, I'm not going to be playing or making videos about, oh, the puppies are going to go. Uh, the puppies, kids are going to be adopted. You know, I'm not going to do that. All right. And then on behalf of my brothers, I bought this for me, this little, this little table set. Um, metal table and chairs, perfect for outdoor scenes. Um, for taller LPS, dash hounds are the total opposite as well. Next, I got this bookshelf for my sister. Um, say hi. Hi. Thank you. I love these, they're the most cutest things ever. The books do come out, and they've got little names, so I will be showing you really quick. Um, so the first one we have is Poems of Lord Byron, I guess. Learning Friend. Learning French. Learning French, sorry, my sister corrected me. The Ladies' New Medical Guide. Aunt Franny's Cookbook, Grimmy Fairy Tales, New Century Book of Etiquette, Webster's Dictionary, I think it says, Jude's Valentine, Jude Verney's Adventure Stories, um, Holy Bible, I think that's actually really cute, and actually fat, too, because Bibles are big, My Biography, Dr. Hood's Plain Talk, and Common Sense Medical, medical Advisor, and, and they actually accidentally wrote D and D, D instead of A, <laughs> how funny, and then we have Practical Carpentry, which, seriously, you, can you write better? This is not how you write carpentry. And last one is Card Tricks, which is actually probably my favorite, just how cute it is. So, yeah. Okay, we'll be speeding that up. Let's make me fast. Okay. And next for my grandma, we got this little cheesecake. Super cute. Um, I just put these sodas in here, but there are 12, two of each, so they're... I just put those in here. They didn't actually come, so here's limeade. This one keeps... This never keeps falling off. Red juice. Orange juice. Pink lemonade. Root beer, for a second I thought it was beer, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Um, lemonade, and that's it. I'm not going to show you the other ones because they need the same thing. Um, here are some packages. They all, oops, they all say Mary Smith, and then that one, this one says, oops, this one says first class, and then these two both say fragile. Wrong way. And then here are five little letters, which are really, really cute. Perfect for like, um, like, um, uh, like, Five struggles on eBay or something. So here is a toaster. It actually goes down, but just to tell you guys, if you have this toaster and or, oh, all these little things. When I said I got the cheesecake from my grandma from starting there to all the soda and all the other stuff, these are all from Hobby Lobby. I don't really know the brand. They're in a dollhouse set, but they're for like dollhouse sets. So if you want to get them, yeah. So if you actually got the toast stuck in here when you tried to pull it down, you actually literally my sister taught me. How funny! She's younger than me. You pull this down and then you kind of like flip it and start shaking it like that. Um, here's the toast. I put it in a little Ziploc bag. I have this for all the tiny realistic food and the things. I didn't want to take the toast out because really there's really no point in taking out the toast. All right, guys, so that is it. I, I still see the cake, but who cares? All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. This is good cheesecake. Bye, guys. I'm just going to eat the cheesecake, too.